In this chapter, we'll show you exporting directly to a DVD disc with the creation of a simple menu. Before starting with DVD authoring itself, let's create the chapters. Move the cursor to the point on the timeline where a new chapter is desired. Afterwards, switch to the sequence marker mode and press the set marker icon or use the keyboard shortcut V. A marker is added to the timeline which will serve as a chapter on the DVD. Set markers for the remaining chapters. Now let's create a new sequence that will serve as the menu sequence. When authoring, Edius enables the use of both static and moving graphics in the menu background. However, it is necessary to place the moving background, that is the video file and its sound background, into the timeline. We recommend creating an independent sequence, which we'll name Menu. Let's add the menu background video into the video track and the audio background into the audio track. It's an advantage when the video and audio are of the same length. Start the Edus module for creating a DVD menu. From the File Export option, select Burn to Disk or use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus F11. A window opens for the creation of authoring. There are two selection options, DVD and Blu-ray, in the Basic tab. If you selected Blu-ray, in the next step you'd be able to choose between MPG2 and H.264 codec options. In our case, however, the choice is clear since DVD uses only the MPG2 codec. Our authoring will also contain a menu, so let's leave the Use menu selected. Next, let's switch to the Movie tab. Note that only the original sequence is added into the list of clips. Therefore, click on Add Sequence and select the sequence from the list that contains our video and audio as its moving background. Confirm by pressing OK and note that the selected menu sequence has been added. There is a setting button next to each sequence or imported clip. After pressing it, the title setting window opens where the desired video and audio parameters can be set. For the purposes of our example, it's not necessary to change the preset values, so simply confirm the existing ones by pressing OK. In the list of sequences on the right, there are buttons for deletion and sequence order change. Changing the order of sequence is useful with multiple clips used in authoring. Let's switch into the Style tab. Here the side ratio is selected. There are several preset styles available in the lower part of the Style tab. We'll leave the remaining settings unchanged. Switch to the next Edit tab where the visual for our DVD menu can be changed. The list of editable objects can be found on the right side of the screen. From the scroll down menu, choose either the main or the title menu or the chapter menu. That is, the one where we can choose from among the created chapters. Each editable object can be adjusted by double-clicking on it. Then the Menu Item Settings window opens, where you can choose the clip frame that will represent a given chapter. Here there is also the option of setting the frame shape or the zoom for the given icon. In order to edit text, Click directly on the text and simply rewrite it. If you wish to use a moving background menu, select Motion Menu. In case you wish to use your own menu background, double click the back element and select a different image. To select your own moving menu, click the Select the Sequence to Output icon and select the created menu sequence from the available sequences. The submenu is edited the same way. After adjustments are finalized, switch to the Right tab. If you also wish to create the DVD structure on your computer's hard drive, select Enable Detailed Settings, where the target location for the DVD files is selected. In the Option tab, you can subsequently define the replay order for individual clips or the menu. 
If you wish to check the content of the created DVD before burning, choose Compile Disk Image to Folder. Finally, confirm the creation of DVD with the Create Disk button. The export and burning length depends on the format selected and on the computer hardware. In case you wish to create a Blu-ray disc, follow the same steps as when creating a DVD, but select Blu-ray as the output format in the Basic tab. A Blu-ray disc burner is required for final Blu-ray disc burning and this function is unavailable without it.